I think the Vector is a very versatile piece of equipment that allows us not only to, to focus on gait training but to look at other functional activities in different positions such as tall kneeling, quadruped, half kneeling, even sit and balance activities as well as standing and walking. We've used it with all levels and abilities of patients. It's allowed us to really facilitate their independence. The space is kind of at a premium here, so we were always kind of looking at what kind of footprint was it going to have. We liked the fact that it was kind of something that was overhead and could be kind of pulled out of the way when it wasn't in use. I think one of the first things is obviously to let the patient feel the support of the harness and how it's going to catch them if they do fall and letting them feel that to gain confidence in the system. Sometimes we do practice if they're really wary, we do let them simulate a fall. If not, we kind of just go right into the session and let them start working on those things. Um, once they kind of get that sensation, they do feel like they're getting that support. Uh, they do tend to be more willing to try maybe activities that maybe they were hesitant to try before. But that's where the kind of that therapy is, is in, in trying those things that, that are difficult. I find the, the handheld system and the PC itself very, very user friendly. Particularly for somebody that's not very tech savvy, I've been able to utilize it with, with relative ease after just one or two times. I do feel like I, I'm allowed to do a little bit more hands-off. I really like the idea of allowing them to kind of learn their own strategies or relearn their own strategies to their balance, come up to a sit stand without me having to help them. I think it adds a level of personal satisfaction as well when they start realizing they're able to do more of this on their own with a little less help from the therapist. I think that's one of the biggest things that we've been able to do. Patients have been able to, to walk much farther than they have been overground. So for some patients that are maybe going 10, 15 feet, they're now able to do 50 feet, 70 feet. For patients that are maybe minimal assistance over ground, they're now ambulating with supervision or with little hands-on assistance. And because we do have such a large system here, it's allowed us to really challenge patients' endurance. And with that, I feel that patients are getting a very good workout during our therapy sessions. But with the body weight support of the Vector, it means that I'm not having to work quite as hard. One of my most memorable patients was working with an amputee. She didn't walk very far because she started complaining of back pain typically when she was walking. And when we watched her walk, she tended to kind of come forward over her knee. So we got her in the vector. She did have an episode where she fell and the vector caught her. We gave her some pointers. We wanted her shoulders kind of back over her hips. And then she started learning to trust her knee a little bit more without having to be kind of over it. And when she made that next long stretch, she actually walked further than she'd ever walked before and had no back pain made a pretty big impact on, on her function at that point. One of the first patients I used it with was a higher level ambulator, but somebody that was a little impulsive, so we were very cautious of being very close to them and giving lots of support, and maybe not backing off as much when we were working overground and allowing the patient to find that independence. And once we were in the system, he just started walking around. I think he, he tried to jog, he was dancing. It was, it was wonderful to use it in that sense and to be able to back off and let somebody have the confidence to do that.